me to monitor. Um, this is one of the uh, you know great opportunities in the uh, learning uh, in the learning area uh, for jobs, especially for jobs in uh, uh, you know in the current trend. Okay, the current trend is everything is going to be based on machine learning and AI, artificial intelligence. It doesn't matter what area you work on it. There is always an innovative solution you can think about. So, uh, and artificial intelligence and machine learning requires data. So that's why, you know, sometimes it's, uh, people call it in different names, different words, but basically it is data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, all these things mean the same thing, including statistical learning. But there are some special applications where you have to use statistical learning, special applications you have to use machine learning, <clears throat> and you know, and you have to convert these things into an application, what is called an AI application, artificial intelligence application. Okay. For and that is the opportunity we are talking about it. And uh, you, you know, um, <clears throat> this is the classic uh, uh, and it is it is you know provided by global practicing leaders um, and it's literally i'm telling you 100 percent i am 100 promise that you get a job that should give you enough curiosity about what we are going to talk and what we want to know about okay and this is a classic uh, 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 slide i share with people and there are you know like three six nine 12 areas of development in the next uh, you know we were talking about by 2025 they are saying right but in fact it is just the early stage they are talking about the full capacity of the possibility is 33 trillion dollars out of which 5.2 trillion dollars is all about knowledge automation that's what we are talking about in terms of machine learning and ai and very interestingly the blue bars are the highest the blue bars are the most possible estimate and the light blue bars are possible estimates so even though we say mobile internet is has you know 3.7 to 10.8 trillion dollar the most likely possibility is the 5.2 trillion dollar the minimum dark blue bar so of all the things mobile internet automation of knowledge work in internet of things cloud technology advanced robotics autonomous and near autonomous vehicles, next generation genomics, energy storage, 3D printing, advanced materials, advanced oil and gas exploration, recovery, renewable energy, renewable energy. You take anything, the most possible thing and with the most um, economic advantage is the automation of knowledge work, which is data science, which is machine learning, which is AI. So, that is the reason you know why i take this you know i put the message today in linkedin saying that look do you want a job for sure follow me follow my guidelines and i assure you that you'll get a job because all of our students have been placed and we don't have enough people to place tons of jobs are there. tons of jobs okay and we'll talk about all those things and how how how, how many tons are there we'll talk about these things but first i want to just you know um I want to just, uh, uh, you know, understand. Uh, I think these are the common questions people ask. Hey, what's it all about? I don't understand data science. You know, can you tell me something about it? Is uh, data science for everybody? Can I get better opportunity after I do the course? Cost and time, how much, you know, how do I, uh, how hands-on it is, how much fees it is, right? Is automation making it less, uh, making it less, creating, you know, make, make, make it, Wait, is automation, uh, you know, uh, wipes out jobs basically, right? Wipes out job opportunities, right? It is yes and no. Okay, when computers came, for example, I, I'll tell you answer for every one of these questions. I have answers, right? Um, I'll just tell you that, you know, one more, and then we'll come back again for all these questions. Uh, is automation will will automation wipe out jobs? Okay, that's not the question. Will automation wipe out? uh job opportunities in data science also right because we are saying a lot of jobs are there but if you implement ai will it you know will it take away those jobs also data science levels also so uh, the answer is simple short answer is no because what happened when computers came everybody thought that computer when computers came 
30 years back, uh, the jobs will go away, right? But actually, there was an explosion of, explosion of jobs. Your jobs will get to recategorize, change, something new you will end up doing. But it doesn't mean that no zero zero jobs or no all jobs will be gone and missions will be running around doing the, your work. <laughs> you know, it's not mission will be running around and doing the work. Okay, so think about that. So, and then what am I going to learn? Is it a life course? Is there a calendar? Can I take a look at the schedule and so on? The answer is, uh, uh, you know, in doing the presentation now, you will hear all those things, okay? Answers in various forms. So there's a huge opportunity. And these are all, uh, so the immediate question they ask is, you know, what should I do? You know, is it for me? You know, you know, will it, uh, you know, what is the cost of doing it, the fees? And, um, you know, will it remove jobs, you know, even deaths and jobs? Uh, what exactly will I be learning, you know? Uh, is that, you know, will I interact with the actual teachers, real teachers? These are the questions people ask, right? So, <clears throat> uh, if you have any special questions, any one of you, please let me know. I will add to it, okay? I think this has been collected over a period of time. I collected all these things, so pretty much all questions are here. Uh, the first question is, of course, you know, what is data science? It's a coming together of math, stat, okay, in the right side, you know, math, statistics, machine learning, uh, math, statistics, computer science, and domain knowledge. In domain knowledge, you know, you may not have anything, but that's okay. That's a starting point. We give you a collection of projects, you know, portfolio of projects. So you learn, you know, like, you know, uh, what is the recommendation engine? What is the, you know, financial services solutions? Uh, things like that we we teach you so no worries you know you don't you have less domain knowledge you know if you have let's say economics you know economics but still job knowledge you don't have if you know uh, engineering you know engineering computer science but you still don't know the real world computer science problems right you get some experience with projects in the colleges and so on but you know it is so nonetheless you know you really uh, want to make sure that you know, you know these basics covered and you have the curiosity about any domain in which you, you are interested in joining. It could be security, it could be um, uh, financial services, it could be healthcare, whatever the area you want to go in, you just develop interest in that you know, knowledge in that area, and that is called the domain or business knowledge. Okay? So, um, so these are the courses you will learn you know, in our program. Uh, very tight, very specific, only ma what matters to the job, you know, immediate job. That's all we teach because otherwise, you know, there is no end to it, right? So we want to train you in six months and then, you know, make sure that, you no, know, you get a job, okay? So, um, so what are they? R and Python, because these are the languages of data science, okay? R and Python, we teach. We also teach business opportunities and statistical methods. So, you know, develop critical thinking about basic ideas on data develop critical thinking about basic ideas on data. Okay, so that is the business opportunities and statistical methods. But of course, the real world, you will have tons and tons of data. So you will have to work with database server, data server, database, database servers. So you have to know SQL and also database connectivity. And we teach that predictive analytics, which we also call it as you know, unsupervised algorithm and supervised algorithm. Tableau, which is very important as a in the dashboard, you know, if not Tableau, you know, we'll teach Shine. So something we'll teach as a starting point. Um, you know, Tableau is a special course right now. Um, so Tableau is, uh, dashboard is handled basically using Shiny or Shiny. Mission, I mean, we can do also, there are other, you know, Python based dashboards and so on. So, but that's good enough. Machine learning and deep learning and AI, all these subjects we teach and duration is six months. Okay. The, we take pride in telling uh, that, you know, practitioners, industry practitioners teach you. Very, very important, okay? Um, and it's a global program, okay? That's why, you know, I put this one, uh, the, earth, the rotating earth to keep that in perspective. So data sciences, math stat, domain knowledge and computer science coming together. I want to tell you a little, um, you know, exercise here, you know, oftentimes, and you'll be surprised if you ask uh, some, many times people, uh, you know, have concerns and questions and uh, confusions on very basic terms. Like, think about it. You now, what's an algorithm, right? What's a database server? 
We know what is data, what is database, most likely, and then what is the internet is server. So things like that, you know, we teach you very clearly and carefully so that you can talk with others because talking is all about connecting with others, right? So you get better response when you speak with others. So, um, you know, for example, you know, some, the, some of you who joined late, don't worry about it. I will post this in the, uh, you know, in uh, uh, maybe YouTube or somewhere. I'll post it and put a, um, put a link for you all, okay? So don't worry about it. Um, so here is the very simple definition. What is an algorithm? It's a very confusing term. People who have done, I'm talking about the earlier generation, you know, maybe the new generation, everybody knows it, especially if you're a computer science, you know it. But the point is, you know, um, uh, what is it meant to be an algorithm? It was confusing to me also for a long time, right? You know, it's something, I don't know what it is. You know, everybody says, they are saying this and that and so on. But here is a very simple example, okay? Um, an algorithm is simply a sequence of repetitive computational step, step towards a solution. That's all, okay? But it should be repetitively done. Same step is repeatedly done. But when you repeat that more and more and more, the solution reaches its place, its destination. And you find, you you identify that solution and use it. That's what it is all about, algorithm, okay? Um, so the, uh, you know, it's, it, it should not be confusing beyond this, but I will show you an example also, where whatever, whatever it means. That is, it's a sequence of computational steps. This is what we teach. And here is an example I'm going to teach you. Okay, I'll give you that. Before I give you that example, I want to uh, tell you also, sooner and less resources is the seed for word couple. Word couple, you know, uh, constantly used. What is the word couple? Algorithms and data structures. Sooner and less resources. See, you know, you can devise a repetitive computation step towards a solution, but you know, a solution is great if it has less resources and less time and uh, uh, less energy, right? Basically. Right, so um, the best the best algorithms are the one which is accomplishes faster, utilizing less resources and less energy. Okay, so um, uh, you can create your. By the way, data, this this defines data structure because data structures actually you know goes hand in hand with algorithms to speed up the process. Okay, so that's why the algorithm data structures is a common couple word couple used in computer science. And you know, when you think independently, and that is what we teach, we make you think independently. You know, you, you will really enjoy the way we teach you. you know, I, I'm very sure about that. So uh, we make you an independent thinker. There is no better joy than being a free person where you think on your own, you solve your problems, isn't it? You know, that's how I always feel. Okay, freedom is the most important thing. And the ability to think on your own is the ultimate accomplishment of your life you have your own opinion you have your own science you follow of course you are you know that doesn't mean that you are egoistic and you know you get into problems with others we are not talking about that but nonetheless we all have to have our own understanding interpretation and opinion about about things around us and this science the way we teach you we dig into those kinds of energies in you in in all of our students okay so the other thing I want to point out is sooner and less resources is the quest among mathematician seeking efficient computational steps when the science is deterministic data points. If there are 100 million data points, then in just 30 S yes or no answers for below, um, I'm going to talk to you later about that, for even if you have 100 million data points within 30 S yes or no questions, I can find out what that number you have in your mind. Let's say you select the number between one and a, one and hundred million, yeah, yeah, number you select one with just thirty S or no questions, I can find out. So that's the kind of promises the algorithms make. Isn't it fascinating? It's fascinating for me. Okay, and sooner and less resources, the quest among statisticians also. So that's why mathematicians, statisticians work. But the types of algorithms are very different between mathematics versus statistics and computer science. Okay. Statisticians deal with uncertainty. Mathematicians don't deal with uncertainty. And computer scientists, they don't care. They just use these repetitive steps. Da, 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 same thing. 
to get it. That's what they are thinking. So usually they are very, computer scientists are very careful about the resource usage, sooner and less resources. You know, mathematician and uh, statisticians somehow want to get these answers efficiently, okay, efficiently. The resources, you know, resources usage is, right? Efficiency is different, you know, there is some difference between efficiency and using less resources. Okay? So, we teach all this. And here is an, an example. I told you, I promised that, you know, even if it is 100 million directors in 32 uh, SR no answers, 30 SR no answers, I can find that out. I told you, right? So, I can show you, it's called binary search algorithm. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on algorithm, but I'm, I just want to tell you, I can do that for you. So sometime I, maybe I, I, because I have much to cover and I want to listen to you also to your questions. So I will just, uh, uh, I will, I will come to that if, if needed. Okay. It's called binary search algorithm. So the question, the other question you may know, okay, fine. What is this big data, right? Big data is the happening of today's life. You know, you all are part of the big data. You create big data and leave it somewhere. Okay, Android phone collects it. You are, uh, you know, iPhone collects it. You know, we just leave a lot of pictures, you know, voices, SMS, text, documents, and videos. Somewhere we leave it. We don't even worry about it, right? Unfortunately, right? We think the whole world is somehow text characters. So of course, that's what promises are made, right? Your Airtel or iPhone, you know, my Verizon, they all promise that no, your data is safe. You just use your, you know, uh, the equipment, you know, phones, you know, just live your life, enjoy your life, listen to music, watch movies, da, 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 right? The point is, we leave these tracks. We leave these tracks in terms of voice, videos, audios, and images, pictures, documents. We leave tracks, a lot of tracks, and that is the big data. I call it as the happening of your life. And we are accumulating more and more and more data, but there is value there. That's what the opportunity we are talking about. And especially for AI to work, you need the data. The earlier version of AI, artificial intelligence, did not happen and just people gave up because they did not have enough information to create the algorithm for the algorithm to learn itself over a long period of time. They thought they will put to know if then else, if then else and so on. But how many if then else you can imagine? You cannot imagine, you know, you, no scientist can imagine all possible if then else. The only way to make it happen is use the data that are happening as part of the life, like what I mentioned as the big data. So the data is automatically accumulating the truth is in the data. That's what I'm trying to say. Truth is not outside of data. Scientists initially thought they can somehow, you know, um, very intelligently think about all the ideas and then implement the AI system. It did not work. But it worked very easily. It is working very easily nowadays only because the data is making it happen. Because the truth is in the data. In the, in the, the footprints, you know, that we are leaving. That is the evidence that gives us the ability to, you know, for the machines to learn what is intelligent, what is not intelligent. Of course, we give the instructions to the machines how to learn, but that's how it is learning, okay? But now there is no stopping about AI, okay? So that's a, that's what about big data and AI is all about. And it's, you know, this just recently I took, you know, recently means, you know, six, six months back, I took a copy of this one, the top 10 jobs in America, but remember that. America leads the technology. That's what is happening around the world subsequently. Okay. Most of the time there are failures also, but this is not going to be a failure. Data, science, AI is the happening of the today's life. So the important thing what I want to get your attention is, you know, look at this one, data scientist, product manager, DevOps engineer, data engineer, I'm coming. Okay. You might be wondering why I put DevOps engineer as well as strategy manager in the collection of jobs that are related to data science. In fact, you, if you are a good data scientist, there is no product manager. I, I just want to finish this statement before I go further. There is no product manager, no DevOps, no data engineering, no strategy manager without, okay, without AI ML in the mix. And for AI ML in the current trend, 
you have to, whether you are a product manager, DevOps engineer, data engineer, and strategy manager, uh, you, you know, data and data related work are connected. So even though data science is, you know, it's a high paying job, you know, but in the top, the, the, you know, it's, it's called, why still data science is still a top job, but still today, you, you know, if you want to be a really successful data scientist or a manager, general you know, manager, you got to be really very good at what I'm talking. That is AI and machine learning. And data science, AI, machine learning, they all go together. I hope, I mean, I'm giving a lot of, you know, very, uh, very important statements here. I know, I hope you understand this statement that there is no product manager, DevOps, or data engineering, strategy manager without AI machine learning thinking. I hope that means something very important to you. Okay. Without that, there's a, so what I'm trying to say is you now you will be an influencer. You will be an influencer working with data product manager, data DevOps manager. And in fact, we offer in North, I teach at Northwestern also. We actually started adding software engineering for data science. I mean, not to stand claims, and it is one of the top universities in the world. I mean, at least in the top 50 in the world, right? And uh, uh, I think it is top, it used to be top 20, now it is top 30. There is too much competition, right? Um, so um, we have included recently software engineering as a course, as a specialization course for data scientists. People. So it is, and then we, of course, we have, you know, analytics management where, you know, this comes into analytics management. We call it nowadays uh, analytics and technology management, okay? In data science program. But of course, you might wonder, oh my goodness, am I going to do all this thing? No, no, that's where I'm telling you. We are very careful selecting only very specific courses which will get your job. How you grow into the job is your job, you, your, your effort, okay? So we are very careful in designing these courses. Uh, and I did talk about these things, you know, uh, what are the differences between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, you will ask. Artificial intelligence can sense, reason, act, and adopt. And the machine learnings are basically algorithms whose performance improve as they are exposed to more and more data over time. But machine learning is part of artificial intelligence. And deep learning is part of machine learning because machine learning has a lot more. Deep learning is a very small area. It's a subset of machine learning in which multi-layered neural networks learn from vast amounts of data. It's all about letting the machine learn more with more and more and more data. Okay. And we do, you know, we do provide this kind of, you know, the ability to think in terms of how we can make, you, you know, use these kinds of ideas, technologies and solutions for making our life better. So why, this is again one more slide that I share with people, is, uh, you know, there's a huge amount of data that is being collected, as I mentioned earlier, okay? So and just as a, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, you can see, uh, let me take random, <laughs> random data, right? 168 million emails are sent every day. And that is uh, uh, almost uh, you know uh, three quarters of a million of search queries are happening, okay? and six thousand six hundred new pictures are unload, uh, uploaded into Flickr. And Flickr is not the only place. Okay, there is Facebook, there is you know um, LinkedIn, all social media. Each social media you can upload. You know Twitter also you can upload pictures. I'm just giving you as an example. Okay. I'm talking about you know uh, another social media, Skype. There is you know, almost half a million voice calls, minutes voice calls are happening on a day, in a day. And then 100,000 tweets are happening. I don't know, I don't think it is in a day. You know, there's too much in a day, okay? New Twitter account alone is 328 new Twitter accounts every day, right? So this is really, a, yeah, six, not, oh my goodness, it's not every day, it's a 60 seconds, I'm sorry. It is 60 seconds, right? It is 60 seconds, we are talking about almost half a million minutes of voice calls happening. And you know, uh, what three quarter of a million you know search queries happening in Google in, in sixty seconds, one hundred and sixty eight million emails are sent. And you know, I, I misspoke. I'm sorry about that. Okay. And there are in sixty seconds, we are talking about thousand five hundred blog posts are happening, and there are new domains registered, seventy plus new domains every sec, every every minute. In Quora, uh, Answers.com, and all tons of questions are happening. YouTube. 
in 60 seconds 600 plus videos are uploaded and also uh, 25 plus hours of total duration which you know this this one so we are talking about every minute we are uploading 25 plus hours of total duration of videos and there are 100 plus new in linkedin accounts. So, so so this is what we are, we are talking about you know we are generating a lot of data okay and you know the data science machine learning and ai helps us to leverage that science so the question you may also have, you know, okay, fine, guys, I'm ready to do, and you know what's, uh, you know, what's the fees? So here is an exciting thing, okay? Here is an exciting thing. I don't know how many of you are here. Let me just take a look at it. The exciting thing is uh, there is a couple of questions here. Let me address that one, please, one moment. Hello, sir. I lost your voice. Devinini, are you able to hear me? Uh, yes, sir. We can. How about others? Everybody is hearing me well? Hello? I think she lost, you know, Devinini. Devinini lost, lost or she's here. Okay. Um, how, how about you, rest of you? Are you able to hear me well? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Thank you. So here is an exciting part, right? Um, we may you know we are we are going to take you know if you make the decision before the end of this month we will give you you know thirty thousand rupees off of our uh, off of our fees our regular fees are 1.5 lakhs you want to know 150,000 rupees so we are uh, we will take out 30,000 rupees which means 120,000 rupees plus gst of course we have to add gst whatever the money we pay you know whatever the money you pay as fees so we are talking about removing thirty thousand rupees and your charges your fees will be 120 000 rupees plus gst but remember you might spend 20 lakhs for your education undergraduate education it doesn't matter i'm telling you today it doesn't matter because there is no promise you will get a job but i'm telling you you will get a job with your undergraduate degree and our training in you know, diploma in data science, you will get a job. And we are also interested in hiring people too. Okay, so that's a, that's a, that's a promise I'm making. If you make the decision before the end of this month, afterwards, you know, this will be lost. I mean, we won't offer you anymore. Okay, so uh, that's a fees for you. Um, I just uh, wanted to share that information. Here is, you know, some of the big data. I can talk hours, believe me. I can talk hours. How big data is used in healthcare. Actually, I have uh, you know, a project that, you know, we submitted. I was invited to participate in that for NIH, National Institute of Health in healthcare. It is about culturally sensitive, um, uh, culturally sensitive, uh, culturally sensitive food habits okay culturally sensitive uh, food habits for managing um, diabetes we just got funded a few months back uh, so i work in healthcare i work in financial services um, we just got funded means it's not i'm not the main person but i am the ai data science expert for that project okay but uh, you know the, the the person who applied is uh, we are all here in De in Dallas, Texas. Uh, she applied, and you know I joined the team last year. We have been trying uh, working on the project. You know, got funded finally a few months back. So I will be working on that project also. But I you know in the in the aim two, there are three aims we have to do. In aim two, aim one is they are working on right now. So in aim two, I will be doing it. And then we will work on commercializing that project that she will work on. You know, I am supporting person, okay? But the point is, there's a ton of opportunity and here. So we work on you know, healthcare, our team, you know, here in India, as well as in USA, works with uh, uh, projects that are mostly, you know, US projects. I have to tell you that also, okay? And we have experts in healthcare, we have experts in financial services, we have experts also in uh pure data science okay um i, I mean the kinds of work we do you won't believe 
Um, just I will tell you another example, very unusual example. I collaborate with different people. Okay? We are going to publish a paper because it's just a research work. You know, the NIH work healthcare is an actual uh, real world project working with culturally sensitive food, you know, food recommendations for people to manage uh, diabetes, right? The other one I'm doing right now is just a publication that will come with uh, estimating the oldest settlement in USA, their age. So there is a settlement in, uh, you know, we're using the samples, you know, that we collect from the, you know, from their, you know, settlement area, samples from the, from below the earth, you know, unearthed, you know, archeological samples. We are estimating the date, date, dates, but then there are errors in the observation. So we have some statistical methods to estimate it. So that's one of the publications we do. We do exciting things, a lot of things we do. I mean, there are seven papers we are publishing uh, in the last two, two years using data science. These are scientific publications. So, but I'm interested in real world projects like what I was talking about with healthcare, right? You know, and financial services. We do a ton of work, okay? So we certainly encourage you to think about all these possibilities. As I said, before some of you joined, you can do so many things. There is no limit here. One life, not enough. So think about it and the opportunity that it provides. So I have some additional notes. I don't want to spend more time here about these things, but I want to stop here. Uh, I, I can answer any questions you may want, you may have. Uh, here is, for example, you know, where does, you know, what is the difference between data science, data analyst, and data engineer, you know, data, Scientist is uh, um, is the algorithmist, if you want to call it. Okay, we talked about algorithms, right? And then data engineer is a system in, systems engineering related. Uh, but then that's the reason why we included systems engineering also courses in our program in Northwestern. Okay, why don't teach? We don't teach that in in the diploma program because we are very focused on a highly specialized uh, talent in data scientists, nothing else, because. There is so much to do. We want to make you as expert in data science. Okay. Um, the data analyst is the one who connects with the business people. And you know, they also connect with the data engineers. And data engineer gives the data to data scientists. Data scientists build the algorithm and then gives it back to the data engineer. They implement it. And then the results are watched in the dashboard by data analyst who connects with the business managers. You know, Things like that, I, I, I can ask you any, I mean, you can ask me any question. I'm very happy to, um, very happy to uh, answer, but I just thought I'll share with you some of these uh, definitions. Here is another, <laughs> sometimes the people wonder, oh, okay, because I am a data engineer. We have data engineers in our, comp in our company also. I am also a data scientist, where we have no choice, right? You know, because sometimes, you know, when, you, when you're building a company, you have a very small team, okay? You have to, you know, everybody has to pitch in. So, hey, the, the what, why the, the this, this is a picture I got it from Data Camp, and you know the difference. You can see that she is thin and with the spectacles, you know, very focused about you know something. And here is a guy who is happily listening to music. He is a data engineer. Look at him. You know, looks like stereotyping to me, but nonetheless, it's funny, right? Um, of course, he's wearing uh, very carefully in the. COVID-19 issues <laughs> related math, and she is, you know, happily working on the algorithms. The point is, um, these are all the things that, you know, probably you have questions in your mind, but speaking with us will help you. India needs nearly a million big data, big data technology and business analytics, talented people in the next 10 years, million plus. And I can assure you, when we say somebody, we need one person, we are just ta not talking about getting certified and going and doing the job. We are talking about capable people. Not everybody who is trained is capable, but we make sure in our institute, you will be able to practice your science. That is the pride we have, okay? So India needs a lot of people. And you know, I only wish that people will take advantage of it. It is like when internet started, right? Internet changed everything. In the same way, AI, machine learning is, data science is going to change everything. Okay, and you can be part of that exciting process. So also India is moving towards a digital economy and India wants to be the knowledge management DPO for the world. For all these works, India needs four to five times. That's why I'm estimating 
you know, because in, in USA, we need quarter million people, analysts, and we, India needs four to five times. So that's why my estimate is million plus analysts. Okay. And you can see in Naukri, go and search yourself in Naukri. You'll see, you know, I, when I do always, I get around, you know, 30,000 jobs in India. But remember, when I say 30,000 jobs, each job matters, quality people. Okay. And you can check it out. And uh, I think that Chennai alone needs 4,000 jobs and Bangalore needs 10,000 jobs. Okay. Things like that. So I really, you know, encourage you to go out and check it out in Naukri. But you, you know, based on how you put your keywords, the numbers will change. But you know, you have to be, you have to think smart in terms of how to search also. And uh, these are all people who are hiring. You know, Adobe, J.P. Morgan, PepsiCo, and you know, KPMG, Tech Mahindra, that, that Accenture, IBM, and all those people. Uh, we are very careful in also designing our courses. So if you are saying that you want data engineer, we will have to design that specific to you, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, uh, the point is you not know, all these things result in jobs, okay? So here is the key question you may have also. Why should I take the courses with you? Okay, why should, okay guys, you know, okay, sir, you are, whatever you say, I believe in that. But why should I take? You know, there are a lot of other, you know, places I can take the courses. Absolutely true. But here they cannot beat on all these things. We are world class instructors, practicing practicing data scientists, practicing machine learning people. You don't get it easily. Okay, practical data science problem solving approach. You don't get it easily. Okay, people give. I don't. I'm not saying that you don't get it. You uh, know but you don't get it easily. All these things together, real world project applications, short program and face to face. Course that doesn't give you face to face and they may give you some special sessions here and there, but not like what we do. We are committed. We don't care. We don't need 100,000 people to enroll into our program. We don't care about that. But whoever who takes the program you know, with us have to be getting the job. They should enjoy their job. And we always keep our community open. You always you can always come back and talk to us. Okay. Uh, and you can in fact ask me, sir, you told me this at that time, it's not working. You can talk to me like that. That's okay. Short program face to face. There's a value for money. How is this cheap? You cannot get cheaper than this. Believe me, you know, my time is not even supported in this program. I earn something somewhere, I invest money here. So I'm not getting paid, but I provide my services. Not only that, in fact, you know, our people are, you know, could be paid more. You know, they just do this for the labor of the love of the labor. Okay. Value for money is great. We, we actively work with you to make sure that you get a job. Okay. So all these things coming together and face to face, you will see me in the class like this, exactly in an excited way talking to students. Okay. So I, I'm telling you, consider quickly, the earlier, the sooner you get the job, it's better for you, for your lifetime. We have five doctors. You cannot get an you know, uh, analytics department with five doctors. I'm telling you today, you know, we have that, okay? With a mix of, mix, mix of industry applications, consulting and teaching, we have done 100 plus solution development, 300 plus peer reviewed research publications, and 2000 plus graduate students interactions in training across diverse subjects, econometrics, statistics, marketing analytics, healthcare, financial services. We have totally, you know, 12,000 people follow our senior management group. Okay. Um, so what do you want? Tell me. That That's where I want to end here. I will take your questions. Hello, Mr. Rajwell. Welcome. I think we know you. Probably not. Please introduce, say a few words and also Mr. Murugadeva, Mudragada, Mudragada, please, if you say a few words about yourself, please. Go ahead. Hi, Professor. So uh, nice talking to you again. Like I had already had a, a, a class with you. I had uh, experience uh, uh, learning from you. Oh. And I had to drop off uh, a due, uh, uh, in the middle due to some reasons. 
that i'm planning to rejoin again and uh, even today i was just crossing uh, besan nagar and i was just seeing iot uh, sorry uh, uh, like uh, I, i was absolutely like uh, 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 in cloud line when i just saw your link on uh, linkedin and then i'm just joining you, you. I, i just missed a couple of things like uh, the offline classes from the professor kannan yes and sent uh it was awesome so uh i am planning to rejoin again uh in a few months of time uh like maybe in two months or something yeah uh, so, yeah professor so i i i i i'm just having the pleasure to again uh, thank you for all the uh, the 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 confidence you gave me like mm. uh, uh probably i i am into analytics but since i am not uh, still confident on machine learning or predictive analytics i'm unable to progress further so uh, that is why i'm planning to join again and i'm planning to uh, complete even the deep learning uh, mm -hmm. modules which we were planning to uh, 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 give or uh, give a lecture on yeah What's... thank you thank you professor welcome welcome so it's it's great to see you mr rajwell um and you know we are becoming more and more uh, you know completely uh, you know online program we don't meet you know we are moving in that direction the covid changed us also the covid changed many companies it changed us too so because of that you know we, we may not we won't have classes like in the besan nagar what we have but we are not, we will have classes like this i'm coming i'm not seeing you you know talking to you coming from of course by the way now we moved to texas and you know, on dallas we are i'm coming joining today from dallas fort worth you are arrived as in new jersey but the point is you know it's a global we are more, we are trying to make it as a global program as i said you know we care for quality you know quality training uh, one student at a time it doesn't matter how early, long it takes long for us in our life but this is how it is going to be and it will continue to be like that i certainly we certainly welcome you you know complete your you know training uh, and you know get uh, well placed you know it, it's a fascinating times um and uh, every area of affairs and perhaps you can contribute you know in one of those areas there are a lot of i i talked before you joined many things so any area is great area nowadays you know? okay so welcome um mudra geda please uh, say a few words about say, about yourself you know where you are joining from what are you doing today you know what interests you here and so on <clears throat> please feel free and com be comfortable we try to build a very secure confident um caring community uh, we are not just you know giving you a certificate uh, giving a stamp and letting you go and so on which if you want to do you can do that okay take it and then go run your uh, company or you know uh, join a job somewhere and enjoy your life that's okay but you know we are also here uh, we we want to be here for our students so uh please feel free to talk to us that's why i'm saying uh, mudra geda bhargav veera okay go ahead please you want to say a few words about yourself okay in the meantime um uh, that's all i have for today we, we heard you vishal um uh, so it's great seeing you all um uh, keep good cheers enjoy your day every day is precious every moment is precious um and uh, solve good problems it's fun okay thank you very much everybody have a nice evening or nice day rest of the day bye bye thank you bye, -bye. bye thank you sir. thank you